Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me, I hope you're well. Uh, right, we're back in Oakland Zoo. We are going to be starting on a new bit of the zoo today. Um, but I do just want to finish off our little tapir and capybara habitat. Um, don't need to do much. I've decided I'm going to do all the, the tree line here. I'm going to do all of this off camera. Um, cause that's pretty boring. You don't want to be sitting there watching me pl plant down hundreds of trees. Um, but I do want to just do a little bit of detail around um, this area just here. So let's just crack on with that and then I will get on to what we're going to be doing next, our next little project, which is actually going to be a very sort of quick and easy project to do. Um, but I'll, I'll explain what it is and why it's going to be easy um, in a minute. First, let me just work out what I want to do here. I want to get rid of snapping for a start. Um, I just want to work out eye lines here. <clears throat> so I don't really want people to see around this corner to actually know where the animals are disappearing to. So I kind of like the idea of blocking it off like that with a bush. Just You, you can see the, the building back there. You can see the animals going, but I don't really want you to be able to see that entrance there. Um, you can just about see it a bit from over here, but it's fine. That's that's good. I like that. I could be tempted to to maybe get another one of these over this end somewhere, like so. I was also looking at getting a little bit of foliage around here as well, just to kind of blend this in a bit more. Let's just sink a bit of that down in there. Get a bit here. Yeah, something like that I think looks pretty good. Ah, now let me just check where that is. Yeah, that probably needs to move. And I'll just sink it into the ground. That's better. I'm pretty sure that should still be reachable. Let me just make sure I'm not messing up any traversable areas here. Mm, yeah, these bushes do. Uh, do block roots by the looks of it. <laughs> Our keeper is kicking the tire. That's hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I can only assume that's because I moved it and they'd already worked out the route <laughs> that the uh, the zookeeper was going to take. Um, so he just happened to end up walking right through it. Let's just keep that one as well, actually. And I haven't moved that one. That's quite funny. Never seen that happen before. How bizarre. Um... Right, what else was I going to be putting back here? Um, I quite like the idea of these roses. Don't really want anything too bright back here. Um, I wanted to kind of hide some of this. But yeah, I don't, um, you know, I'll, hydrangeas are the obvious one to be putting on bits like this, but eh, not too fussed with the hydrangeas. Um, I like the idea, actually, no, what I was going to put back here, uh, because we've got these, haven't we, around the front here of the uh, the reptile house. So I, I kind of like the idea of having something like this here. And then, I don't know if I can fit in one, yeah, something like that. So let me just see what that looks like from back here. That's good, although to be honest, I think I might just swap them round actually and have that one in there and that one over there. I think that will probably look better. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Looks more natural having the taller one next to the building. Good, okay, that's nice. Right, so um, don't need to do much here. I don't want to just fill it in for the sake of it. Um, obviously, the, you know, the animals need spaces that they can get into. So I've left the uh, the long grass and I'll keep that. But I do think I just want a little bit of foliage around here. Um, might just go with a little bit of um, bramble. Maybe smaller than that. Yeah, just maybe just a couple of them. And then maybe something like this. To make sure they can still get to that. Yes, they can. Good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that habitat now. I think our, our animals seem to like it. And um, yeah, 
I'm, I'm pretty satisfied that that is a nice looking habitat for them. Did that say that he was hungry? No, it didn't. I thought I thought I saw that someone was hungry there. No, never mind. Good. So that is our uh, tapir and capybara habitat done. I still need to take their photos and get these boards along the front sorted out. So I will do that at some point. So I'm not worrying about more sort of behind the scenes stuff in here. Um, it's completely away from the public view. So the only people that I'd be doing that for would be you and me. And there's just no point. So let's not worry about that sort of detailing for now. So what am I going to do next? I want to put in our habitat here. So this was a, an idea that I had right back at the start of this zoo. Um, in England, we, we when it, all of these zoos, they always have an area with some sort of antelope or deer or something like that in. Usually with a few big trees like this because they like to shelter underneath them. Um, so that's what I want to put in here. Someone suggested the red deer. So let me just look up them. What have we got? Is it just a normal red deer we've got? Yes, it is. Now, where is this from? Let's have a look. Uh, hang on, I've looked at the wrong thing. Yeah, Europe, Asia, Africa. Yeah, so it's all over these things I found. So actually, believe it or not, I live right down here in the southeast of England. And it's actually saying that they don't naturally come down this far. Um, which is probably why I haven't seen them. I've seen them in captivity. I haven't seen them in the wild. And I guess that's why they're not wild down here. We do have quite a few different wild deers down here. Uh, but not the red deers. Um, I didn't realise they were they were in the rest of England actually. A little bit there in Wales as well. Um, I knew they were in Scotland. They're they're well known up in Scotland. But uh, yeah, I didn't realise that they they were in a lot of England. That's very interesting because we we don't have them down here. But that's great because um, they are certainly the sort of animal that we would find here. Um, so that's what I want to put in here. So it's going to be a very minimal habitat because they really don't need much other than just this, just meadows, just long grass. But what I'm thinking of doing with the barriers, because we've got the barriers here um, for the the tortoises along here. So what I wanted to do was to kind of extend a barrier out here and create the habitat coming all the way along here and then down to here and then along here along this side of the pathway like that and joining back up to here again so that the animals can get into the water and potentially just into this little area here but possibly not what I might do here is have a little bit of uh, sort of woodland I think along here um, but what I need to work out is where the pathways are going to go or roughly I don't really need to worry about exactly where this path will end up um, I, I just need to kind of create the path, I guess. But obviously I do need to know where it's going to end up in the end. So I'll just bring it around like this for now. But then when I get to here, I need to think about where the pathway will go. So I think you can see there's a bit of a uh, a hill that comes down to about here. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll keep the pathway along the base of this hill here and coming around the corner like this. Uh, and then it can come off into here and again I'll just do this roughly and then eventually I can redo that pathway. Uh, I'll just join it onto there for now. Okay, good. So where do I want the barrier to go or where do I want the door to go? Probably over here somewhere. Hmm, how far along am I going to bring this habitat? I'm tempted to go from this little point here and down here. So what I might do is put, um, I think what I want to do, I want to, yeah, I'll put it in here and I want to actually create a bit of a gap here because you, you don't want people getting too close to the animals. Um, right, let's see, what have we got in the way of fencing? See, the mesh fence is probably going to be the best one. So let's go with the mesh fence. Um, okay, let's connect that into there. What I might have to do is, 
hang on, let's just come out of this. What I might do, so we've got this fence here. So I think what I'll do, if I, <laughs> if I can highlight the right things, I'll come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want that piece. Oh, so annoying. Right. Let's bring that out to there. Let's. Get, oh, come on. Why is it? Oh, is this stupid rhubarb? Isn't it? <laughs> right. Hang on. This rhubarb's going to annoy me. Let's just get rid of the rhubarb. Right. You go up there because you're getting in the way. There we go. Now I should. Now it should work. No, it's <laughs> there. We go. Got there. Great. Right. So yeah, what I'm thinking is if I can just extend that into the water a little bit like that, and then come back into here and make the two meet. Is what I'm thinking. Hang on. Am I anywhere close? There? No, I'm not. It's really. It's really hard to judge that when you're looking in 2D. Okay. Let's let's get them right next to each other like that. Right. How does that look? Okay, that's fine. Because essentially what I want it to look like is that the, the, the deer could come over into the tortoises area as well. Even though they won't because I've got no escapes on and they're, they're, the edge of the habitat will come along here. So uh, yeah, I just want it to look like they could potentially do that if they wanted to. Because um, that'd be fine. You know, there'd be no issues at all with the deer coming over here. Technically, yes, they could jump over here if they wanted an escape, but you know. Again, it's a game. I'm not worrying too much. I just want it to look nice. Great. Okay, so then I need to think where it's going to go along there. Let's let's come in here. Let's come out this way. So I want to keep this distance here between the pathway and the fencing. Um, I don't want it to be a massive habitat. I want it to, yeah, somewhere, somewhere like that is good and then bring it across the entrance here of the um, of the river mouth I think that looks good and then I think what I'll do if I just plop that down and then just bring it in and connect it I'll get it as close to that as I can Okay, that looks good. So, I mean, technically it means that the deer could come right up to this area here as well, but that's fine, don't mind that. Um, so then what I'll do is I will add on to that, but obviously make it invisible. So it needs to come. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it right on the, the pathway like this. Okay, and then let's let's bring it to here. Uh, whoops, let's right. Let's make this a little bit of fencing here. Um, or uh, just actually, do I want this to be fenced? In the same way no I don't actually no let's keep this oh hang on let's let's delete that let's keep it all invisible actually and go right along the edge of the pathway here and then I'll create a, a path uh, not a path I'm talking about a, um, a fence along the side of this here. Uh, let's go right down here and then I need to cut across and join it to that one. Okay, I think that's complete now. Let's have a look. Is this a full habitat? Yes, it is. Good. Nice. So it's quite a big area, but that's fine because these, these animals need a big area. So that is a good thing. So let's have a look at our trading. So red deer. What have we got? We've got Reese, Michaela, Carsten, and Macon. Uh, I'm going to have more 
I'm going to tame him. Seven. Another caster. No, I don't want another caster. Let's try that again. All right, let's just keep going up here for some reason. Uh, a Gary and a Moni. And Numi and an Azlan. Let's go with that many for now. Um, actually, do you know what? I've completely messed that up, haven't I? Because these guys, I think, would only have one male. So let's sort that out. Let's let's get rid of the males. Uh, I'll keep. I'll, who should I keep? I'll keep Aslan because Aslan is a very cool name. So let's just get rid of them. My mistake. I wasn't focusing at all. There was I. So one male and a whole load of females. Um, what should we go? Should we go with yeah, five females? Let's go with that. That is good. Right, so let's select them and get them in and see what happens. <laughs> let's see if they can actually use this whole area and uh, yeah, whether it looks any good. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll create a, a fence that comes along this pathway here and kind of around here and I'll blend it in with some foliage and then I'll, I'll do a bit of a little bit of tree work I think it particularly here um, probably coming down down here as well actually all the way along here because what I, I can kind of block off their route to here with a few carefully placed trees and I'll try and find some nice English trees I think as well and then the rest of the habitat really doesn't need to have much um, I'll try and build a little something around this because um, the deer will um, rub up against trees and destroy the bark and end up killing the tree so um, we tend to put these little, little protective barriers um, around um, around the base of trees so I'll build a little something to go around there let's have a look oh he is a mighty stag isn't he look at that wonderful right let's just check so traversable area is looking really good actually there obviously they can get out but that's fine yeah I don't mind that that's that is all good but it is nice that it looks like they're in the same habitat as the tortoises I, I kind of like the idea of that oh look I'm hoping they do this I don't know how oh look at that I'm gonna swim already that's great I don't know how well built in their AI is as to whether they do actually walk around in little groups because in in the wild that is exactly what they do safety in numbers and this might encourage more people to come in here and actually look at them as well because at the moment not that many people are using our little seating area over here brilliant okay so animals are in look she's already checking out the tree so I'm hoping that tree counts as a bit of shelter as well that'd be nice Ah, oh, no it doesn't. That's a shame, isn't it? I'm sure they'll lie under it anyway. So yeah, I will build them a shelter as well. Um, but let's uh, let's come over here first and have a look at building. Oh yeah, look, people are watching. Let's have a look at building a little um, bit of fencing, shall we? I kind of like the idea of just a simple wooden fence. These animals aren't dangerous. Um, they're dangerous to each other. I mean, the stags will fight each other. Uh, look at that, you can get nice and up close with them. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, stags will fight each other. If you've ever seen them, um, these guys fight with their horns. It is terrifying. <laughs> you certainly wouldn't want to get stuck in the middle of them, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, posts aren't great, are they? Because they're a little bit... Mm, I really wanted something that looked more natural. Possibly something rounded. Um, what else have we got? That's a post. What beams have we got? See, that's okay, but it is a bit tall. Obviously, I could sink it into the ground. I could do with a one meter one. Um, oh, that's quite a nice piece, actually, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at this. So, let's have... Yeah, I want it to be sort of twice as wide as it is tall, roughly, something like that. Oh, look at that. I just about judged that perfectly. Um, so, yeah, it, it, a nice thick, a nice thick bit of fencing. 
but yeah that's that's basically what I want so let's get them combined and then hopefully I can manipulate this where I need it so what I'll try and do is uh, I'll try and keep it right along the edge of the pathway. This is always the interesting bit, isn't it? To see how it rotates. Okay, that's actually quite good. That's going to rotate quite nicely. I mean, it's still going to... It's going to take a little bit of manipulating, but it's... Hopefully, it could end up looking quite nice. It'd be easier if it rotated at the edge rather than the middle. That'd be handy if that was an option, actually, how items rotated. That'd be really, really nice, wouldn't it? Make things a lot easier if you could select where, like the uh, the point that it rotates from. Um, but this this way isn't too bad. It's just time consuming. I do like to do custom things um, if you can. I'm always looking for, well, you, you know me, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like to try and do my own thing, use items in ways that they're not necessarily designed to be used. Um, it's, it's kind of where the fun and the creativity in the game comes from, I think. But when it comes to things like fences, it's not always that easy, because once you've, once you've done a load of them, you've kind of used all your options. And there's only so many different bits of wood in the game that you can use. And I've done fences using other materials as well. Obviously that is a possibility of using something completely different. But with something like this, I specifically had a look in mind, which was obviously a, a wooden fence. So yeah, you've got to just keep on trying to use the same pieces in slightly different ways which is not always possible um, but yeah it's okay I think this fence is going to look really nice how far have I got left to go oh not too far so still no baby news at this end I'm afraid we are due at any time so yeah we will have to keep waiting and seeing what happens eventually you'll notice when I have a baby because you won't see any videos for a few days probably um, I'm recording this what is it today Thursday night so this will be going out tomorrow morning this episode um, and so yeah I, I, I haven't got any more pre-recorded I'm afraid so if baby suddenly turns up tomorrow or over the weekend um, you may have to go a little while without of any videos I'm afraid that's uh, just one of those things of course baby could turn up and um, you know she could be uh, she could be here in no time at all and we'll be back home but you just never know with with babies do you um, it could be that uh, my girlfriend's in labour for, you know, two days, three days. You just, yeah, just don't know, do you? <laughs> um, right. Let's think. How am I doing it along this side? I think I am going to just, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go with that. Let me just get this corner piece in first. It's not quite worked out the the, the length for this corner, but. I'll do that and then I'll just fill this in with some foliage and it will look absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I think if I do put trees on this corner, uh, I'd, I would like maybe the animals to still be able to come over. Depends. It depends what trees I put down and whether it works. Oh, they do look good, don't they? But you see, animals like this are very shy. So they wouldn't really want to get any closer. 
unhappier then than they are now. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see whether whether I I want them to come all the way over or not. That's uh, that's worked out very nicely there, actually, hasn't it? Cool. Okay. Um, so just need to fill that last bit in like that. Great. How does that look? Oh, I think that looks very nice. I do. Uh, it's a good fence. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, that looks great. And you can stand here and see them over there very nicely. So let me just check their traversable areas now. Good. Yeah, so they can come over here. Obviously, they're always going to be able to escape over there, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, so they can go through the water and they can come out this side. Brilliant. I have no issues with that at all. Um, okay, so what trees? Let's think. English trees. What do we have? We have uh, ash. And we have elm. Let's have a look. A common ash. Hmm. Yeah, I do like the ash. I don't really want any more oak. I know this is Oakland, but the, the point is that there's one big oak tree. That that was sort of the idea of of this place being called um, Oakland. Okay, let's get a couple of these in, like so. Don't mind one or two more over this side. I don't want it to look really crowded with trees but it makes sense that there would be a few it gives them a few extra options of of where to to spend a bit of their time i think one or two over here would make sense but again i, I still want the animals to be able to to get over this side i might just leave it like that i don't i don't want to don't want to block them too much yeah so they can still go over there uh, they can still get over this bit they can still get around the tree lucky the trees don't have a big uh, blocking area so that's cool so yeah so they've still got plenty of options what does it look like from over here now as you come around this corner yeah you've got some lovely big trees there still got the reptile house so I've not blocked the sign off there not too much anyway um, and the building itself you can still see quite nicely and you come around here and you've you've got a view through the trees across there to the deer see so people are standing here I mean they're looking straight at the tree which is hilarious um, but yeah you can get you, you get a nice view here from uh, from across the river don't you look at that galloping through the the woodlands there that's lovely isn't it Great, really happy with how that is looking already actually. And they still look at that, you see if they're feeling brave, they will come over this side. And they they do get this close sometimes, but they are very shy. Um, I have seen them up close like this in some of the, the zoos, um, but a lot of the time they will stay away from people because they don't they don't want to be seen, they don't want to be noticed. Most of the time they, they are just lying in the long grass hiding essentially. Um, just realize I've just messed that little edge up there a tiny bit let me just see if I can there we go let's just pop that over that looks a bit better uh, now this edge here looks terrible so let me find something oh that's quite a nice little shrub isn't it um, but no I don't want that um, I just want a little something down in here to cover this up probably a bramble would be the logical bush because it will hide all of the dodgy ground on this corner so let's get a, a big one in there and then let's just get a little one next to it make it look like it's sort of there on purpose <laughs> good okay that's nice um, so yeah so what I'll do is I, I will do some basic decorating I'll get some little bits around the base of some of the trees I'll put a few meadow, meadow flowers down as well oh, look at that he's impressive isn't he I do like him yeah, he's brilliant. I'll probably do a plaque for him, but not for the females. I, I, I can't do every single animal in the zoo. Uh, I know I have so far, but 
the most I had in another habitat was four. Um, you know, this is this is getting up to silly numbers now. Um, they wouldn't necessarily all be named, but because he's the only male, I think he would have a name. As obviously he has, he's he's Aslan. So um, yeah, so I'll do a plaque for him and probably one of those entrance boards out here as well. I'll do one of them. Come and meet, you know, Aslan the stag. Uh, but yeah, so I'll do some detailing, some ferns, things like that. But I'm really not doing much else in here because these animals just graze. That's all they need is they just need a nice field like this to play around in. Um, I put a few enrichment items in. Uh, I, I'm not even going to build them a shelter because they wouldn't have it in the wild. They would just shelter under the trees. Now, let me just check. I don't think these any of these trees are going to count as shelter yet, are they? No, it's a shame because realistically they would um, and they would you would just get them underneath the trees here um, I I will have a look at building a little fence around the base of the trees but I get a feeling that I might not go through with that idea because it looks nice as it is and I think if I build something it might look a bit silly um, and not really not really work so I'm, I may end up abandoning that idea but I might give it a go I think there is something in here isn't there for, for the the narrow trees I'm sure they put something in the game that was a like a a protector. Hmm. Maybe it's in here, is it? Where's my scroll bar gone? I can't see my scroll bar. Is there a scroll bar? Oh, there it is. Um, I don't know what it would be classed as. I tell you what, it's probably not in nature, is it? It's probably in this. Let's just put in tree. Ah, oh, yes, that was it. A tree cage. Ah, you see that? Uh, would that fit around the base of these ones? Mm. No, it's really designed for um for the, the very small trees isn't it um but that was that's the idea that that's what i was thinking of this sort of thing but it's just it's not designed for these bigger trees obviously uh, and i think if i tried to build my own i think it would just look a bit too chunky so yeah i may not go with that idea i might just leave it as they as they are um because i think they look fine right we're going to call the episode to an end there um I'm very pleased actually with how this is coming along already this this deer habitat it is very simple um, because that's what deers need they don't need anything fancy so yeah cool All right you're doing a speech is nobody going to listen are you gonna yeah there we go someone's gonna listen to you good cool right so let's leave it there so next episode I will finish off our deer habitat and then who knows where we will go next um, Oh, I do need to set someone up to come and feed them as well, don't I? Oh, oh, excuse me. I will do that in the next episode as well. Otherwise, they're going to end up starving to death, which we don't want. So I'll probably have to put in another keeper hut or something over here, won't I? Um, yeah, and I've got to think about what else I'm doing. Oh, I was thinking about a hippo, wasn't I, in this area? Uh, a pygmy hippo. So I think I'll do that. Maybe that could be our next habitat if I... If I do a pygmy hippo on the side here, um, or possibly actually, no, maybe just pygmy hippo over here, and then maybe I could squeeze in a small exhibit or something here, uh, and then, you know, got room here for another habitat. I'm not necessarily going to build it all the way around the outside. I'll, I'll do something here probably. Um, but I also, I, I want to put in some gardens and things like that as well. Um, I want to experiment because there is a, a butterfly habitat of some sort now isn't there? I've not done anything with that yet um, I'm not actually sure where that is in here it's not uh, what have we got here hang on facilities right that's a normal exhibit that's a walkthrough exhibit so is this one does this one do butterflies right hang on let's have a look are the butterflies in here yes butterflies are in there 
So I'm a th I think you can make this open, can't you? So it's all gone. Yeah, okay, I think that's the idea. If you if you remove all of them and the ceiling and the floor, yeah. And the doors. And then essentially you've just got a pathway, which then I'm assuming you can change. Yeah, so you can have a gravel path like that. And then I can I can kind of add to it on the end like that. Um, you know, do that do that sort of thing and create a butterfly garden. That's what I'm thinking. So Hang on, let's just go to let's get oh hang on. I might have done too many undos there. <laughs> hang on, let's redo and let's redo and then undo undo placing. Okay, there we go, good. Right, <laughs> before I mess up my whole zoo, let's let's uh, let's call it a day. So yeah, so the butterfly garden I think would look nice over in this area here. Um, and then I want to sort of build some other little fancy gardens around it probably. So yeah, lots, lots to think about. And then my little uh, animal farm area will be somewhere over this side. Um, my little sort of petting zoo thing will come over here somewhere. But let's leave it there. So thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, you can hit the like button. Please do leave some comments as well if there's anything that you want to tell me, anything you want to suggest. Um, and uh, yeah, that's great. So hopefully you can join me in the next episode. I don't know when that's going to be, I'm afraid. Um, I will try and get another one out uh, at the weekend. But um, yeah, everything is up in the air. So um, I'll see you when I see you, basically. Uh, great. So thank you very much. And I will see you soon. Take care.